Hi, hi. So, what did I come on to tell you? I'm going to Hobby Lobby for a few things so I can like take pictures for my Christmas book because I want to try and promote that super well this year. Ugh, I already missed its one year anniversary. For some reason I thought it was, I, I published it on the 8th. Uh, turns out it was the 1st. So, yeah. I don't even know what you're barking at. Your chicken's over here. It's a little chicken they sent her home with and she just loves it, but it's getting so nasty. We need to wash it. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? I have my water finally with me again. Uh, uh, I love water. Water's amazing. Water's the best thing in the world. Love it so much. She just likes to like just walk around with it in her mouth. She's so cute. No, oh my gosh. This is beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Also the little photo card tr Christmas tree. For the longest time that was like one of the only things that brought me joy. And so now I'm just like, ugh. More finding other things again. Also the dishwasher is going, that's why it's loud. It's like a little puppy that brings us joy. Also I have client work tonight. Um, I actually don't know how long. Did I shut my laptop again? No, I didn't, okay. I shut it before my YouTube video finished uploading. So it paused the uploading process. And so I'm like, well, that's great. Um, but what, how many pages do I have to read tonight? I wanna look. 114, so that's not bad. <laughs> Listen, I don't wanna be the bad guy. No barking. Did I write a little bit this morning? I don't think I did, I think I just opened the document. But right now, we're currently at 4,586 words in the document, so it's gonna be a fun time. I'm so excited. You, you guys literally don't even know. And I love it, you know? I just love it so far. I just really do. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I don't know when. Sometime. Woo! I bought Bummy this squeaky toy today at Hobby Lobby and she already broke it. Like it doesn't squeak right, but she still loves it. Hang on, I'll show you. Yeah, she is um, in heaven right now. That's like the first kind of toy like that that she's ever had, like rubber squeaky. Um, so she's obsessed. Then again, if you want a toy that lasts, you probably shouldn't be getting it from Hobby Lobby. It's 5.20. I haven't had my second cup of coffee yet. I'm trying to hold out because I know I'm going to want it at like 7. And I don't need it yet. I'm trying to hold out. We didn't get a good nap in because somebody didn't. I had to get up to pee. And she thought it was time to get up to play. And I couldn't fall. We were not allowed to fall back asleep. So that was unfortunate. Now you have your chicken. You have your chicken, huh? Oh. So I was making my breakfast. Well, it's like lunch. It's 1 o'clock. And I didn't hear Bomi. And I'm like, oh no, where'd she go? What are you doing? Are you sweepy? Is it normally our nap time right now? What are you doing in there? Are you sleeping? That was literally the cutest thing I think I've ever seen. Why would you, why, is that where you go to sleep? Cause that's where you normally sleep? Bless you. I'm gonna be packaging up most of the final uh, five. I think I have packaging up everything but one box because I don't have the box yet. But I did get the big bubble mailers, so I'm using these to buy the labels and weigh everything. We need to do that. Also, the K-pop section, somebody commented it on it in the previous vlog. Uh, yes, there is a K-pop corner over there. I use it for my unboxing videos that I do. Where is my scale? Or packaging up trades, so yes. It's like my fun, my fun corner up here. I also cut myself um, doing, making my soup tonight, peeling a potato. <sighs> Potatoes, you guys, are the devil's vegetable. Oh, what is the dimensions of these? Uh, 10 by 13. I also didn't realize how the guy's peeling potatoes, you know? Um, but apparently, apparently I put a ton of pressure when I peel potatoes because I did pressure blood everywhere. So it was quite the, quite the experience. Okay, Dream of the Wedding Store, Bell and Bad, we're thinking, and the, the whole Most Likely Two series. Anyway, it hurt. And this is why I hate potatoes. This isn't why, I also hate them because they're disgusting. Like pre-cooked, cooked potatoes, fantastic. And Dream of the Wedding Store. <gasps> I'm so glad that didn't break my computer. I feel like it could have four books pressing down on the screen. I think it could have, it just went as far as it could. I think it did damage my screen. No. No. I think it did. 
Oh, it did. Oh, it did. I was gonna say, that was a lot of pressure on, a, on my screen. Let me show you. I gotta get a screen that I can show you though. <sighs> okay, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's this line right here. It's like, if you can see it's damaged in the screen. No, no. That is so upsetting. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna record this whole process because I did it through the last vlog. Um, so I will just see you when I'm about to write. I'm really bummed. Something I've been waiting for uh, as part of the Christmas gift for my cousin. Um, it said it was delivered to my mailbox. It went out to my mailbox. It was not there. And I went to go submit like a request like, hey, my package isn't here. And they're like, you need to wait 24 hours. I'm like, well, why? Probably in case they put it in somebody else's mailbox and that person brings it over to me. My thing is, you better not be doing that with my photo cards, USPS. If I lose photo cards because you're doing this, I'm gonna throw hands. My head hurts, my thumb hurts. I haven't looked at my computer yesterday. I still don't want to after we literally broke it. I cannot believe I did that. Ah. I mean, I can because knowing me, but come on. It's The good thing is, is it didn't damage it to the point that I can't use it, so. Hello. So, it's much later. It's 7 o'clock now. Um, I got a planner, and I was going to open it on camera, but my mom, if I delivered, delivered to my mom's house. And so, she came over and dropped it off. And she's like, well, do I get to see it? So I opened it with her instead of on camera. But it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Oh, I'm obsessed. But coincidentally, this past previous Saturday, Sarah Cannon uh, did a live stream about like planning her 2024 writing year. And I'm like, oh yes, that's up my alley. I, oh, hang on one second. Sorry, I'm back. Hi. Bomi. Hi. So, I'm gonna have my second cup of coffee probably any time here. I was gonna have it around 7, so it's 7.20. It's not dinner time yet. What do you need? What's up, kid? You wanna play? Do you wanna play with your chicken? Oof. Yeah! Good job! Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Stop. And we'll probably run her out, um, so that way I can you know, do my planner stuff in peace. I don't know if I want to go upstairs and do it. Like a part of me wants to, but with how cluttered the desk is at the moment from packaging the books and still need to get the one last box, I just think I'm gonna, <laughs> I just think I'm gonna stay down here and do it and get my, just go upstairs and get my tripod. I was writing today. I have no idea how many words I wrote, maybe 2,000, I don't know. I'm at 8,000 right now. And so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit 10,000 and then I'm gonna switch back to Madison's book. I did figure out something different that I like the change of. There was one part of Madison's book that I didn't enjoy, and that's where I had left off on, actually, um, because it felt too similar to a theme in Rebound with the Bad Boy, and I just didn't like how it was, you know? So I left off there, and that's where we stopped and felt creatively stuck, and I figured out how to do it differently. So it feels good to know that change. So I'm going to be very sadly transparent right now and admit something that I find very sad. Um, a little embarrassing. I looked over my 2023 bucket list that I made this time last year. I think I had 20 items on it. Friends, I checked off one of those. And the one that I had checked off was hit 100 pre-orders, which we did with the Bang with the Bad Boy um, in February. So we checked it off early <laughs> and didn't check anything else off, <sighs> which is very unfortunate, very sad. I feel very disappointed in myself. It sucks, but we're not gonna linger on it, okay? We're not gonna. We're just gonna keep moving and we're gonna not think about it. But that's why I'm not doing a like, what did I make my bucket list last year? What was it? We're not doing that, that video because yeah. But today we are going to presumably, presumably, presumed, presumably plan our next year of writing. Did you do it on the heart breathings? Yes. Create your 2024 writing plan. That is what we're doing today. Live stream event, it's two hours long. Probably won't be able to do the full thing 
given the fact that I have a dog that needs attention at some point, but I'm gonna try it out with my new planner. I remember once I, uh, I had this kind of planner gifted to me and it was amazing because this is an expensive planner. An expensive planner to just be sitting on my shelf for most of the year. So that is one of my other goals for 2024 is to actually freaking utilize this thing because I cannot be spending 80 bucks on a planner and not using it. Just saying. 2023 though was a hard year. Like I want to swear so bad. <laughs> it was not a good year. I mean I moved out so that was good. It was self growth. But with moving out comes a lot of like stress, money issues, and I feel like I am so horribly aware about money now. And like an adult should be, you know, I, sh I should have to think about money. I shouldn't be able to like be okay because of my parents, you know, I'm not saying anything about that. I think that stress and worry has really, really taken its toll on me. I love that you're happy though. Look cutie. I probably will do this as a lot as a time lapse for a little bit. Um, but watch this live stream with me. You know, stop what you're doing right now. Don't do that. If you watched this live stream, let me know how it was. And if you haven't watched it yet, go check it out. I feel like I am Sarah Cannon's like number one fan in terms of like I've said it multiple times. Something about her makes me feel so inspired as an author. I feel like it kind of renews my passion for writing just like even if i don't ever like really execute the plans stick to my goals i feel like just like sitting down and doing this does kind of refill my creative well a little bit which is odd because arguably this is not very creative but i'm excited to plan out my 2024 year of writing i need like a stand though oh, it's upstairs i'm not going upstairs we're just gonna prop it on something oh there's a workbook I am not prepared, but we're not doing that. Oh, this would be a cute picture. I was zoomed. I thought I was, but like I wasn't like fully sure. So the live stream just ended. Well, it's, it's not a live stream. It was like a re play. What's up, kid? I'll be honest. I didn't do any planning. Uh, I just, I listened to it all though in its entirety and it was really good. Ma'am, had some fantastic information, but as I was listening to it, I felt very inspired to write. So I started to write. And like, I wrote some earlier today, so this is not all in this one session in the past two hours, but probably the majority of it is in the past two hours. But we have written 4,498 words today in the new, new project. We hit 10K, we're at 10,128. And I told myself that I would stop once I hit 10K. It's also, I also started, like I'm, I just finished chapter four, so. The next step is to start chapter five. Um, and I told myself I would stop once I hit 10K and I would go back to Madison's book. Um, so that is what we're going to do. It's 10.37. This dog down here has plenty of energy to go around. So I'm thinking we'll be up for a little bit longer. I also have plenty of energy because I had a cup of coffee at like 7.30. So I am officially saving this document, saving it to my OneDrive. And then we will be, um, we will be going back to Madison's book. You just went outside. Do you want our water? You have water in your bowl, but. And while I load up Madison's book, we recap where, what we are at with that. But I'm, let me do this first. Oh, I started from the beginning, didn't I? So right now I'm on page 12 of 89. We have 26,118 words written. I'm debating if I want to keep going with that or just go back down to where I had left off at the, on page 89. A part of me thinks I should. Okay, what do I want to do? What feels right? Um, I think I want to I want to stick to where I'm at editing on page 12. I feel like enough nuances change that I kind of do need to, to, to tweak those in order to feel like I'm carrying through the story correctly. So I think that's what we need to do. Starting the day off on this book with 26,118 words. I want to write it down. 26. So Bobby was kind of freaking me out. She was sitting over by the door like just staring at the door and 
I was like, that's weird that she's doing that. And then she comes over to me and she starts crying. And then she wants me to pick her up. She's like, obviously kind of like a little freaked out. I'm like, what's going on? I have my headphones on. So I'm like, did somebody knock at the door? And I just didn't realize. And so I go over there and she's still trying to like get me to pick her up. Like still kind of anxious looking. And I take my headphones off. But like, what's like trying to listen? The dryer upstairs keeps making this knocking sound. And it was freaking her out apparently. <laughs> it's just the dryer. But then again, it was freaking me out because I'm also like... Is there a ghost that I don't know about? You know, like, my head is actually starting to hurt, though. I took some medicine, so we're going to try and stick it through. I'm at least wanting to finish this chapter. So, there's so many things in this book. I don't know how to start it is the terrible thing. I keep thinking I have a beginning, and then I, like, second-guess the beginning that I have. And then I'm like, no, we'll keep it. And then I'm like, no, maybe we'll change it. I just, I just don't think it's, like, hooky. The thing with this book is it feels very, like, satisfying to wrap the series up with. But it doesn't feel like a book that would be interesting enough to come in at. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's what I'm struggling so much with. It feels like the end of a book to a end of a series. But it doesn't quite feel like a full standalone that way. We have to make it interesting enough for it to be a full standalone. So that's, that's tough. Oh my gosh. Ah. Putting too much thought into it. The Christmas book is so much easier to write. But we'll get there. We'll get there. 